Hey there YouTube, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. We have uh, a question from uh, someone who said, hey I've got a user form and basically I have a button um, that is how I want it to close. I don't want people to be able to click this red X and for it to close. So we're going to resolve that right now. Uh, what you're wanting is called uh, what you're wanting is called a query close event just like how you have a click event like if you click on the user form it, it's a click event or you have an initialize event whenever it opens well how about when it closes that's called a query close so let's do that right now now double click on your user form let's add a button because in the example they said hey I've got a button um, and it's called uh, query, or it's called button hide, BTN hide, or something like that. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, hit F4 to access the properties. We'll call it BTN hide. So that's the name of their button, button hide, okay? So whenever they click on it, that's when you want to, uh, you either want it to be uh, hidden, me.hide would do that, or if you want it to absolutely close, um, you say unload me or unload user form one, whatever you want to say. So in this case, we'll just have it close all the way down whenever they click on that button. Now, um, for user form query close, uh, which I think is also triggered by any unloading of the user form, but there's a way to trap that by using the close mode. Anyway, we're going to say. Um, if close mode equals, let's see, well let's try it this way, message box can't close that way, and then uh, cancel equals true. And if the cancel equals true, then the user form will actually not close itself. So let's see what happens there. Um, yeah, let's see what we can do there. I'm going to go ahead and save this workbook so that you can play around with the end result. I'm going to save that in my Dropbox in the shared workbook folder right here. We're going to call this. Um, uh, close user form on button only and you can access that by clicking on my Dropbox link which is uh, in the video description you can get all the workbooks that we work on uh, for free you can download them at any time at any rate so let's go ahead and click on this so if they click the exit it would say um, can't close that way and then when you hit OK it would say cancel equals true so that means it would not actually let you close the user form so as you can see let me minimize this the user form is still kicking same thing hit F5 can't close that way okay now what if they click the button then it would say unload me but that would go here again so that's why um, we can't necessarily do that it would be a, a never-ending loop the only way to close it would be this uh, this reset button right here so what we need to do is trap the particular type of closing that we want to do so if you hover over the word over the word close mode it's a built-in variable for the query close you see that currently it is one so that was it's just being told to uh, to close so let's see if we can work with that if close mode equals one then, then that should be just fine And if so let's see what happens there if close mode equals one 
then go ahead and let it end. And now it's gone. So I'll minimize that to show you. Now let's see um, if we hit that. Okay, close mode is one, and it's gone. Okay. Now if we cancel this way, what is close mode? Is it still one? No, close mode is zero whenever you hit the X. So there you go. Close mode is uh, not one, so it goes to the else, and it says can you can't close that way. And there's multiple close modes. You can look that up on Google, but you can trap it um, a number of different ways. Like if close mode equals the reason the user form was closed is because the workbook is being closed. I think you can even trap that. So it's a lot of different ways. So if you wanted it to do something special when the workbook was closing and they forgot to close down that user form, then maybe you wanted to export something or do this or the other or do a message to say, hey, don't forget that you didn't do this or whatever. You can trap it that way and have multiple instances. In this case, if closed mode is not equal to one, meaning they didn't press your button which unloads it then tell them for, no can't do it or you don't even have to have the message in there you could just have cancel equal true which basically just doesn't allow the user form to close I'm gonna save that let's try it a few times so it doesn't do anything you see that cancel equals true right for the close event now if you hit the close button it'll unload it without any question different close mode there you go oh you can't close me ha 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 you can't close me and now it's closed pretty cool alright well thank you for that great question Jerch and uh, thanks everybody for watching God bless don't forget you can download this workbook by clicking on the Dropbox link in the video description